It's me. Tara. Thought I'd catch up with you guys. Oh uh, no, I thought I would um I wanted to talk about what it's like to work at Little Caesars. Uh, Little Caesars, it's a pretty fun place to work. Just They start you off at $8 an hour. They gave, they gave me a raise within the first two weeks to $8.50. And then, like, after six months, you get up to $9, apparently. But I left before then, but... So, pretty much, somebody makes the dough in the morning, makes up all the dough. There's one person assigned a dough, and then that's all that they do. I didn't do the dough, but, yeah... I didn't do the register either, so I don't really know much about the register. But, um, they got, so, I worked the night shift, so, usually when I came in, there was already a rack of pizza, or if it's like a Friday or Saturday, there are two or three racks usually made, and if not, you gotta make them really fast. Um, somebody usually in the morning makes a whole bunch of stacks of sheet outs. What that is, is they take the black pans, Okay, there's a big table full of black pans underneath, and you get, they have racks of trays of dough in the walk-in. There's like eight balls of dough on each tray for this, for the pizzas, and they're all one size pizzas. And then they have the trays of deep dish already made, so you don't have to do nothing with those. They're already made up. So anytime you need a deep dish pizza, you just go grab a deep dish out of the walk-in and you stamp it twice so the hole's in it so it doesn't get bubbles. You just take this. There's two ladles for the sauce. You get a small ladle. Put that on one scoop of a small ladle of sauce on each side of the deep dish. Spread it uh, just like a perfect rectangle all the way to the edge. And you leave a like, little bit of crust on the side. Then you get the small cup of cheese. There's two cup, three cups of cheese. One large, no, four. There's an extra large cup for extra cheese. There's a, a, a large cup for the regular pizzas, a small cup for the deep dish, and then a uh, extra small cup for extra, extra cheese. So you take the small, for the deep dish, you take, because they're small, so you take one cup of cheese for each side, sprinkle it on there, and put whatever toppings go on there. Um, like if it's just pepperoni, you just do like four two sets or four rows of four for each side of the deep dish so it's just eight pieces of pepperoni on that one so that's pretty easy on the screen up above the uh make line it'll tell you what the order is okay but for the regular pizzas when you're making racks of pizza uh they have you go and grab if you if you have to make sheet outs if there's not enough usually there's a whole bunch in the walk-in, so when you make the racks of pizzas, you just take them, they're already made, and you just grab, there's like a shelf next to the, a big shelf next to the make line table and the sauce machine. You just grab a few stacks of those, a few stacks of sheet outs, like pans of pizza, and then take it, stamp it, put it on the sauce machine, hit the button, it goes, puts the sauce on there. Then you put, throw the ring around the edge, it makes a perfect circle of sauce. Throw the ring around the edge, and it makes the crust, so you don't get cheese on the crust. Then you take one large cup of cheese, sprinkle it on there evenly. And usually we make, like on a regular day, you gotta have at least one rack, one full rack of uh, pepperonis and one full rack of cheese. On a Friday or Saturday, you need to have three racks of pepperoni and one rack of cheese. One or two, it just depends. And um, so yeah, so when you come in, if there's not already a rack of pepperonis, if there's already a rack of, like usually they do is they go ahead and build two or three racks of pizza. If that's not done, you gotta do that. You gotta build the racks of pizza first. Then you pepperoni them. So you build the rack of pizza, a whole rack of pizza first. And then you gotta do uh, six, four, well, no, no, eight, no, six, five, four, 
So you do two rows of six pieces of pepperoni, two rows of five, and two rows of four. So six, five, four. If there's not enough sheet outs made, you gotta make sheet outs, somebody does. So there's the big sheet out table. Yeah, there's a little, there's a machine there. You just hit the button, it goes zoom. And uh, uh, you take the dough, you uh, each, or it has nine pieces of dough on it. Each, each tray has nine pieces. So every stack has nine pieces. You gotta have at least six or seven stacks ready to make this, the racks. So, um, you just take, uh, take a big stack of pans, set them next to the machine. Take, uh, you get a little scraper, you pick up the dough, put it in the flour, make sure it's completely covered in flour. Then every pan, you want to wipe it out, make sure there's nothing on it. Then you take some cornmeal, there's a little thing of cornmeal, you sprinkle the cornmeal in the bottom of the pan. Then you take your dough out of the flour, you push it out a little bit, and then you just put it through this machine. You just drop it through this little thing, and it like a shredder machine kind of, and it makes a perfect makes a perfect circle. So once it comes out, it just goes straight in the pan. Once you get the hang of it, it goes really fast. So once there's enough stacks to sheet out, so you gotta make your racks of pizza. Then you gotta make sure you have at least one or two racks of pepperonis. Sometimes three. That takes a long time. Sometimes it could take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours to just to pepperoni the pizzas. And uh, and the um, the make line is like right in front of the oven. So usually they have one or two people on the make line to make orders, depending on how busy it is. And then someone, one or two people on the oven. Between the make line and the oven, there's a crazy bread station. Crazy bread, you gotta have at least four trays of each kind. There's stuffed crazy bread and regular crazy bread. In the walk-in, they have trays of smaller dough that has more pieces of dough on it. These you just take, for one tray of crazy bread, you just take two pieces of, of small dough for one tray. You gotta have four trays. Same thing, put it in the flour. Stretch it out a little bit, like to where it makes a perfect square, and then drop it in the machine, and it stretches it out. So you're gonna take two, take two, two of those rectangles, put them on a tray, and overlap them together. So that way, when you take it to cut it, there's enough space to where you can cut the edges. So you gotta overlap them. So you put one down and one, like halfway, on top of it. And then you just do three slices and then go in between those. Three more. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there's one, two, three. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Eight sticks. Is it seven? Or hold on. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Eight. Eight sticks. So you cut them to where there's. So each tray has two sticks of eight. So once you're done cutting them, you pull them apart to where they're perfectly lined up on the tray. For the stuffed crazy bread, it's uh, uh, one order of stuffed crazy bread comes with three sticks. On each tray, you have six sticks. So you put uh, you put um. Yeah, you take you want to stretch out this dough more because it has to be stretched out more to cut it. So you gotta stretch out bigger rectangles. You put it same thing, flour, stretch it out to a bigger rectangle. Put it through the machine. Then you just line up three sticks of cheese on top of the dough. Make sure it it the whole dough is stretched out enough to where the sticks don't overhang. Then you fold the other half half of the dough on top of that press it down all good on all sides to where it's all pressed down then they have a special uh stuffed crazy bread cutter it's like it has it's ribbed on the side so when you cut it it sticks together it sticks together and it has like a design on the side of it when you cut it so you have three of those so and then you do another one and put it on the same tray so you gotta have three or four of those trays so usually they already have that made when you come in if you work at nighttime, but um, sometimes you gotta do it. 
So when you put the, uh, okay, so at the place I worked at, they have a top and a bottom oven. And, oh yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have uh, at least 12 pepperonis in the hot and ready box made at all times. So you're constantly throwing pepperonis in all day long. Just, just you just gotta stare at that box and just count constantly and keep throwing in pepperonis and cheese. There doesn't have, it just, if it's a Friday or Saturday, there needs to be 10 or 12 cheese, but on a regular day, at least six, six to eight cheeses. So the top oven uh, is not as, uh, or no, the top and the bottom oven, okay, on the bottom oven, both sides are the same heat. You can, you put pepperoni and cheese, just pepperoni and cheese on the regular heat side. On the top oven, the left side is hotter. The right side, just regular pepperoni, regular cheese, anything with two toppings, two or three toppings. Once it goes over three toppings, it has to go on the hot side, the left side of the top oven. If it has anything wet on it, like mushrooms, pineapple, if it has more than four toppings, it goes on the left side. Uh, if if uh, the ovens are overfilled and you need to get them pizzas in there really fast, like let's say like you only have two pepperonis and there's a whole bunch of people in the lobby and you gotta throw in 12 pepperonis and you just, you can put it on the left side but you just have to push it in further. Um, for the crazy bread station, the crazy bread, they have a little window that goes halfway up the oven. Anytime you need to put in crazy bread, you just wait till that window, you open the window, wait till there's nothing there, till there's an empty space and you just slide it in there about halfway through the oven. Um, if you work on the make line or the oven, it's everybody's job to pay attention to the crazy breads as soon as it comes out. Wings, oh yeah, wings go on the hotter side too. Wings have to go on the left side. So there always has to be at least three three wings in the box too. So you got to watch the wings constantly. Every, every tray of wings, there's right under the make line, they keep the trays of wings. And there's uh, three orders of wings per tray. Each order comes with, let's see, eight pieces, eight flats and eight drumsticks. So the tray has three rows of eight flats and eight, or er, four flats and four drumsticks, but eight total for each order. So say you're working on the make line and you're not at the oven, you need to be going back and forth and checking with the oven person when the crazy bread and the wings come out so you can help them out because they're usually really, really busy with just, just cutting pieces. So, um, also the cheese bread. Same thing with the cheese bread. I forgot that, that too. That goes to it. Wings, cheese bread, and crazy bread, all, there's a station in between the make line and the pizza cutting station at the end of the oven. So it's right in the middle of the oven. There's a little table where you prepare box up wings, you box up cheese bread and cut it, and you uh, bag up the crazy bread. There's a big tray there, a little container of butter, and they got, uh, and then a shaker, a Parmesan shaker, and a special uh, Italian seasoning shaker. The crazy bread, you just take your spatula, you just put both, both orders down on the tray, you butter them, Make sure you cover them good with Parmesan. Get two pieces of paper, you grab two pieces of paper from the top shelf, lay them down, and then you just, after you butter and Parmesan the crazy bread, you lay it on the wax paper, fold it up, and then there's a little thing of bags that's hanging right there. You just put it in the bag, fold it up nicely, and put it in the, the box, the hot box. Um, there has to be three Wings, three regular crazy breads, three stuffed crazy breads, and three cheese breads at all times. Just like the hot and ready pieces. Um, the wings, once those come out, you just, they have tongs. Uh, you, you run up to the box station, you ask them, like, you, they'll usually, the person at the oven will usually grab the wings and set them on, onto the crazy bread station, and you just pay attention for when that comes out. Once you see it, you run and you grab three boxes. You just get in there, just get in there. Don't be afraid to just get in there and grab what you need. Even if there's somebody there boxing, cutting pieces, you just say, excuse me, let me grab these uh, wing boxes. So you grab three of those, 
three lids and then box those up real quick as fast as you can then they have they have a, a hot pan grabber to grab like to grab the pans the hot pans is like this little metal metal tong you pick up once you're done boxing everything up and the tray is empty you take the wax paper that was on it throw it away and right under the pizza box station like I said just get get in there and do what you got to do even if that's not your station because you have to help with the crazy bread station so you take the hot pan there's this there's a, a stack for wing trays hot wing trays under uh the pizza cutting table there's space a big space under the table for regular pizza trays deep dish pans and wing trays and you just put it where it goes also, you got to pay attention constantly for once that stacks up. If the person who's working at the box cutting station is too busy to take back the trays, once once that area becomes full and it becomes full fast, I mean, every hour usually you got to take, take all the trays back to the back where they go. So, like, uh, the pizza, pizza pans, and it's heavy too. You got to get under there. You got uh, oven mitts every time. It gets full as often as possible. You want to run those back to the back. The pizza pans, they just go underneath the... We don't wash them or nothing. You just wipe them out before you put the pizza in there. But they just go... Uh, you just tab a stack and go ahead and put them under the table, under the uh, sheet out machine where you make the dough, prepare the dough, make the sheet outs. That's where all the trays go. All the um, pizza trays go. The wing trays, um, once there's only like 12 of those, only like 12, 12 to 16 of those trays, and every day they rotate like once, like once uh, they become full. Once you, there's not that many of them. Uh, you just run them to one of the back tables. There's three tables back there. There's the big, like okay, there's the pizza cutting table. There's the Crazy bread station, the Meg line, a big shelf, the sheet out machine, and then two big empty tables in the back just for other stuff. Just so I usually take the wing trays once they empty, uh, once they become full uh, at the pizza cutting station. Take those to the just one of those empty tables and just set them there. At some point in the night, once you run out of wing trays under your table. They'll all be stacked up back there, usually around seven, anytime between seven and nine, you have to make up wing trays. So whoever's, anytime, whoever's not busy and, uh, or not busy and has time to make up the wing trays, it only takes about 10 minutes. You uh, usually get like two or three big bags of wings and it's real easy. You just, they have, they keep a box of the excess wings underneath because usually you take three full bags and there's usually a few left over from one of the bags that you put in a box underneath the mic line next to the trays the wings. So you use those first, the ones that are already in the box, and then you open the new bags and whatever's left over, you're going to want to put it in a clean box. Take the dirty, the empty one from the day before back to the dishes. Once you're done making, making up the wing trays, like I said, it's just you to open the frozen box of wings and you just go through them and you do three sets of eight each one you got to make sure four flats and four drumsticks so i usually try to get it perfectly even that way and uh yeah so you just take the wax paper you do that set one tray on top of another as you finish it Throw, put a wax paper on top of it so you can set the tray on top of it, the next tray on top of it, and it won't get dirty. And then once those are all made, you put them under the make line. And then you, when it's time to set, make wings, you just take it out, put it in the oven. It's really real simple. Cheese bread is just a regular deep dish pizza, but just cheese on it. So, uh, and those, oh yeah, if it's a deep dish pizza with sauce on it, it goes on the hot side as well, the left side. And then if it's a... Uh, just cheese bread, it has to go on the the cooler side of the oven, the less hot side. So if it's just cheese bread. So the cheese bread, once that comes out, somebody will put it on the crazy bread station. Same thing. Like I said, wings, crazy bread, and cheese bread all goes on that table in between the make line 
and the pizza cutting station right, right up against the oven. The cheese bread, you're going to want to grab two flat boxes. They're two flat cheese bread boxes. You take a little, there's, there comes a little piece of cardboard, you put it down. They, and then you take the um, pan grabber because the pan is going to be really hot. You have to hold it in place. And then there's a little, there's a little flat spatula to scrape the edges of the, uh, cut the edges of the, of the deep dish pizzas. So that way you can take your spatula and scoop it out. But you got to stab the edges so it'll come out easily. So you take one side, you do one of them, you take it out, the cheese bread, put it on the cheese bread box, just butter and Italian seasoning. And it gets four cuts long ways and one, one across. So one, two, three, four, five. So there's eight, no, one, uh... Or is it five and one? One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, it's five. One, two, three, four, five, one. So you do five vertically and one horizontal cut in the middle. And there's a perfect ten pieces, ten pieces of uh, cheese bread. Then you just fold the box up. Once you get folding the boxes, it takes like one minute to learn. It's super easy. Fold it up real nice and tight and... Uh, usually I just, once I get one done, I take that and set it on the top shelf and then do the other one. And as soon as I get them boxed up, as soon as I get both of them boxed up, cause there's two per, on the deep dish pizzas, there's two sides. So there's two, you, one order of cheese bread, you're going to get two orders of cheese bread per pan. So yeah, you, one pan is like divided in half. It's like one long rectangle, but it's divided in half, so it's two boxes. So you'll box those up, put them in the hot box, then take the pan and put it where it goes, underneath the uh, the pizza cutting station. Now at the end of the night, all the deep dish pans do have to be washed. You don't wash them with soap at all. All you have to do is rinse it with water and scrape out the edges. and Sometimes that can take a long time. It just depends. You can get pretty fast at it. The only way to really cut, scrape the edges good is with a regular pizza cutter. I've found that's the only way to get the uh, the crust off of it. But at the end of the night, or if you have time before somebody has time before the closer, it's always nice if someone could wash the deep dish pans as we go. Um, but none of the other pans have to be washed except for the yeah, the, just the deep dish pans and the dough pans. That, you, that hold the dough on it, but not the pizza pans or the wing pans. Don't have to be washed. Um, if you work at the pizza cutting station, it gets pretty hectic sometimes. Okay, there's a, a computer up there with every order and uh, every, every order also prints out. Okay, so it, it lines up with, there's a computer, you can see every order and it prints off a ticket. If it's just pepperoni or cheese, you take the ticket and throw it away because they've already gotten rid of it because there's always pepperoni and cheese. So you don't have to worry about that at all. They worry about that up there. If it's anything other than pepperoni and cheese, you want to pay attention. Except like crazy bread, crazy, all the hot and ready's, you don't really have to pay attention unless it goes with something else. Unless it go, if it's just a crazy bread, throw it away. If it's just a cheese bread, throw it away. If it's just wings, Cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza, throw it away. The ticket away that prints out. Okay? Unless, all, except if it has a P on it. Okay? Even if it's just a hot and ready, if it has a P on it, that means it's for DoorDash. And it, you do have to, they don't deal with that. So that is what you have to pay attention for. If, it, if it's just a walk-in, you can throw it away. But if it has a P on it, even if it's just cheese or pepperoni, you have to take... That ticket that has a P on it, grab it out of the out of the hot and ready, put it, and there's a uh, a box up at the front where you scan the box because it's for the DoorDash people. You scan it, or it's yeah uh, a call in. It's either for door or it's a call in that they call in, and you're expect if you work at the pizza cutting machine, you're expected to make sure all those orders are ready in the hot box. So if it has a P on it, and all the P orders, I I take the ticket and hang it up on the same, like right next to each other. I make sure it's in order. All the peas go together 
and those are priority because they're priority so before anything you have to make sure that those are ready like let's say you just have you have like somebody orders a hawaiian they walk in and order a hawaiian but then but there's a whatever has a p on it comes before that like you just have to make sure that you can take care of the peas first and get those boxed up first and out as soon as possible into the hot box. Like I said, you just, whatever the order is, uh, as the pizza, sometimes like if you have a big order and one thing, uh, sometimes it like, it'll take 10 minutes for one order to come out. Sometimes it'll all come out at the same time. But like, let's say you have like seven pizzas and they're all different kinds of pizza and there's a whole bunch of other orders too. And it takes like 20 minutes for that one order to come together. Like, let's say you have two, three meats and uh, two, three meats. One of them is just a walk-in, but one of them is for a priority order that has seven other pizzas with it. No matter how long that walk-in person has to wait, you have to put the priority one first. So it could take a long time for the walk-in person to get their pizza because you have to put the priority one together first. So uh sometimes you can get away with like if there's like a lot of orders that have a lot of pieces together you can get away with letting it sit out and just like sometimes you just have to stack up the like you'll get part of an order ready so you just put it to the side as you're waiting for the other pieces to come out and make, put the ticket Put that ticket with it and remember what it has and so you can run back and look at it and see what goes with it but if it's too long the thing about it you if it if it's too long like if it's like 30 minutes for it's all going to be ready you just put them uh there's a space in the middle just for holding stuff um just for holding pieces just for holding orders that aren't together yet once it all comes together like you gotta like every time a pizza comes out you gotta go put it with that order put it with that order and remember and once it's all ready then you run up to the front and say hey this whole order is ready so and uh you'll just order put it in the perfect tell them where it is in the in the in the box like for once it's finally ready you run up to the front and tell them that that order is complete if it's the peas you don't have to worry about telling them because they see you scan it and put it in the box but if, if it's just like, if it's not a priority order, if it just, and it's in the waiting, like every time an order is complete, you put it in the middle, make sure it's all together, everything is together, and then you run up to the front and tell them, hey, this order is ready. Or sometimes if they're really busy, you could just go ahead and look at the ticket. And if there's a whole lobby full of people, it helps like to just go ahead and call out, hey, this is ready, and just go ahead and get out what you can for them. And so the person will be out there and they'll be like, okay, that's me. And you can go ahead and give them their order. But sometimes they want you to just tell them so they can handle it so they don't get confused. It really just depends on what's going on. Um, yep. Uh, and if you're working on the pizza cutter machine, you want to try to do it all the boxing up if you can you want to try to get all like work the crazy bread station too sometimes you need help the make line people are supposed to do it too but you're supposed to do as much as that of that as you can as possible and run back the hot trays once they get full if you can as you're going um it's a good workout it really is um anytime you notice that the people at the make line are supposed to pay attention to the hot and ready boxes, but you're supposed to call it out too. Like, say you have 10 pizzas, they, they grab six, and six are gone. So you call out, I need six pepperonis, so they can throw them in there. So sometimes they're really busy, and they're not paying attention. So everybody works together that way. Um, yeah, sometimes you'll have like 10 orders that you have to put together as soon as possible, and it gets really stressful. And some you have to know which ones that you can let sit out and which ones that are going to be a long time to put together that you need to go ahead and put in the hot box so they don't get cold. 
Sometimes they can sit there, though, because they're going to be out fast. And once they're ready, then you can go ahead and take them to the front. Sometimes they have to go in the hot box right away because it's going to be a long time for the whole order to get complete. Um, you got to make sure... Uh, they have like three different cutters, like the white one is just for cheese, the red one is for, uh, for meats, and yeah, the white one is for cheese and beef, the red one is for just anything else, and then, uh, they have extra pizza cutters usually sitting there, sometimes people will order clean cut pizzas, you gotta pay attention to that ticket and that pizza, okay, this is gonna be a clean cut Put it with that one. Use the clean cutter. Put get that. Get rid of that right away. Put that ticket on there right away. Um, stuffed crust pizzas. Uh, stuffed crust pizzas. You gotta put. They have a. They have a special boxes just for stuffed crusts and for pretzels. So they have regular boxes and they have these other boxes for pretzels and for. Uh, Stuffed crust, the pretzels. The pretzel gets just plain margarine. A ring of plain margarine on the crust, the pretzel crust. You take the butter brush, spread it on there. Then you get the pretzel salt, sprinkle it around the edge, and it's just cut like a regular pizza. The stuffed crust gets garlic butter around the edge. So there's a bucket of garlic butter with a brush in it. The, the margarine for the pretzel is just a squeeze bottle. But for the, gar for the stuffed crust, it just gets uh, garlic butter comes in a little bucket you brush that around the edge and then you take the parmesan sprinkle the parmesan in the crust cut it like regular and then uh so those go in the special orange boxes the other pieces go in the brown boxes um just like the cheese bread with the deep dish it's almost like the cheese bread box but it gets the deep dish always gets the whole tray instead of just half the tray like the cheese breads are small, the deep dish pizzas are big, so they come with, it's both sides of the deep dish pan with the deep dish, and you put two pieces of cardboard on there, you take them and uh, you, just like I said with the cheese bread, you hold it, you scrape the edge, make sure it's easy to get out, put both of them on there, one on each piece of cardboard next to each other vertically, you want it to be long ways, they don't put it over so they can fit it, so it goes vertically, and then just cut it one time across and then two for each so it has four pieces on each four pieces for each side of the deep dish pizza um um oh yeah uh stuffed crust you always want to if you're working at the make line you always want to have a stack of at least 10 stuffed crusts in the walk-in ready to go so I mean, your priority is having the racks made, the racks of regular cheese and, pe and pepperoni made, but once, because you can make up a stuff, if you get an order for a stuffed crust, you can make one real fast, but, and you, but, but 